In boxing, the fight doesn't always go to the biggest or strongest fighter, or even to whoever throws the most punches. The fight sometimes goes to the boxer who is unpredictable. If a fighter throws an uppercut when their opponent expects a right hook, it could make the difference between winning and losing. A recent study by a team of researchers considers how this principle might occur in the competitive marketplace between businesses. Brian Connolly and Dave Ketchen of Auburn University, Laszlo Tihanyi from Texas A&M, Christina Carnes of the University of Nebraska, and Wally Ferrier from the University of Kentucky examine this idea in an article recently published in the Strategic Management Journal. As in boxing, when companies compete in the marketplace, Advantage is afforded not only to those with more resources or to those who engage in more competitive activity, but also to those whose actions are unpredictable, who throw an uppercut when the whole world expects a right hook. The authors develop what they call competitive complexity, which describes the diversity and changing nature of a company's competitive moves. Some companies rely on doing the same thing over and over, but others experiment with marketing campaigns, acquisitions, alliances, different kinds of products and services, and even creative pricing strategies. On the surface, one might think that complexity is beneficial and helps companies get a leg up on their competitors, much like an unpredictable boxer. It turns out, though, that there's more to the story. In business, competitive complexity provides long-run advantages, but in the short run, it introduces challenges that make life difficult for managers. As a result, competitive complexity can hurt near-term company performance, but is likely to help the company if they stick with it over time. The authors go much further in their study, answering questions like, what happens when you have too much complexity? And what makes managers want to engage in or avoid complex actions? You'll be surprised at what they found. If you'd like to know more, feel free to contact the authors at this email address.